Texas, and I just got here on site with River, and there is literal frost. There's ice up on the top deck, which, uh, you know, in addition to the fact that it's only seven degrees above freezing right now, uh, has got me thinking, let's let's get going here. Uh, I brought uh, the table saw today. If you guys recall yesterday, I was saying that there were some tasks that I really needed a table saw for, and they were ripping down these boards so that I could do inch and it. Wow, this. I got these off the top, they got ice on them still. Uh, so that they're an inch and a half and they're gonna fit in up there. And this is a really good illustration of what I was talking about the other day about what's the most important thing can you do right now. Uh, you know, when I was realizing I needed these little strips here, you know, I could have spent extra time and done not quite as uh, good of a job, uh, you know, kind of clamping these down and doing the, uh, you know, the battery powered uh, handsaw down, uh, down the side of them. I could have made them, they would have taken more time and I wouldn't have done as good of a job, but I found all sorts of other things that absolutely needed doing that I could do very efficiently yesterday. I delayed on this table saw thing until I was able to go back to you know my place, and now this morning I brought it with me, and because of that, I'm able to do a better job, do a quicker job of all the uh, pieces I need to do up there, and I have extra stuff that was accomplished yesterday that wouldn't have been if I spent all the extra time doing uh, these guys. Uh, so I just I wanted to mention that. I'm appreciating the fact that instead of blowing time doing something slowly, I did other stuff and now I'm able to do this quickly and do a really nice job. Uh, as you can see, Josh uh, was spending yesterday moving boards up where he almost got the entire pile gone. There's a little bit of foam left over here, but I think we might even just be able to leave that because it's off to the side and the site work people who vanished, again, uh, they told me that they were going to be, you know, here until the end, uh, the last time they showed up. But earlier at the beginning of the week, they showed up and just took their equipment and left. Uh, I have uh, some communications in with them, asking them, like, you know, what's going on? I know that they have some paperwork issues with the Board of Health. They, uh, they haven't filled out all the right forms and everything uh, in order to work in the town. But as far as uh, they were telling me, that's not a problem for them beginning the septic system work. It's certainly it's not illegal for them to start clearing the area, knowing that that's where they're going to put the septic system. You know, they can begin that kind of work, and, you know, as long as they have all the paperwork in order before they actually start installing things, that should be fine. I'm thinking that there was just some other client of theirs that has some kind of an emergency or is more of a complainer than I am, and they pulled their stuff off-site and they're doing that. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I'm one of those big advocates, if you say you're going to do something, it's kind of a good idea to do it. It, you know, leaves people trusting you and all those kind of good soft people skills that people seem to forget these days. Uh, but anyway, ho hopefully they're going to come back, you know, and finish up everything here. Because, uh, you know, leaving things to the last minute and waiting for things to be an emergency, it's not really, you know, you and I as people into preparedness, you know, know that that's not really a, an effective plan. In fact, that was the plan at the end of last year. They were leaving things until the end of the summer to do them, and, you know, they didn't pull it through. You know, they didn't make it happen at the end. So, you know, some people work well in emergencies, but I know this particular company, they put themselves into a corner, and, you know, sometimes they're just painted into a corner and they don't get stuff done. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see about that. But for right now, my priority, what's the most important thing I can do right now is to work on this. I've got communications out with them. You know, I'm not gonna, not gonna worry about that. You know, until there's something I can do about it. Actually, but there are things that I can do about getting this house together. Uh, and I probably should stop doing videos and get going on this. Do you think it's a mistake? I'm. I wasn't thinking about actually connecting the uh, table saw to the, uh, the bottom because I'm gonna be storing this in the root cellar, and I don't want to keep unbolting it. I guess it'd be dangerous if I was doing long boards, but. For short boards like this, and as long as I tell everyone it's not connected, I think I should be all right. It just saves time not having to like reconnect and unconnect that every day that I put it in the root cellar to keep it safe. That's it. Thanks for watching.